What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Rocky Mounts High Noon. It's gonna be a three bike bike rack and we're gonna be putting it on a 2012 Dodge Durango. It's gonna be a platform style bike rack. It holds the bikes by the wheels. So you don't have to worry about any frame contact. We have a mountain bike on here right now, but it'd really be open to throwing carbon fiber bikes on there fat tire bikes, they actually have an extender for the straps to fit those wheels. E-bikes go on here, even bikes with fenders with these straps can go around those. So it really is open for any bike you wanna throw on here. You can tilt it away with the bikes loaded. Now it's gonna be heavier with three bikes on here. It's not too bad with one bike. You just reach out this handle, tilt it down away from the vehicle. And now I can open up the back hatch. So if I forgot to grab something out of the back, or if I'm done with my ride, I just want to sit down and chill out for a second, I can easily do that. How it holds the bikes is this front wheel hook. You also have the strap that goes underneath. So if you had a bike with a fender, you'd bring the wheel hook out right there at the end of the fender and this wheel strap adds extra security. Now down here, there's gonna be another strap holding on the bottom of the front wheel. So that's gonna be three things holding down your front wheel, keeping it secure. If we go to the back wheel, there's a strap back there that you can pull tight to keep it in place as well. Looking at the cradles, you can see that it's got the center groove for road bike tires. It opens up for mountain bike tires and can even accept fat tire bikes. That's gonna be the same for the front cradle and the rear. Now that you can also adjust it back and forth. And then we have the back here for the front wheel. That's what the hook is gonna push on the tire and push against this, keeping it in place. One thing to keep in mind is the weight rating on each tray. So it's gonna be 45 pounds per bike. Now let's remove the bike so we can take a better look at the bike rack. We're gonna do the back wheel strap first and we'll go back up to the front wheel. Unhook the bottom one. There's gonna be one underneath the wheel hook and then the wheel hook itself up, rotate out of the way, and then we can remove our bike. Now let's get some measurements. Let's go from the bumper, the furthest point on our bike rack. About here, it's gonna be about 45 inches it's gonna add. So just keep that in mind when you're backing up in the tight spots or even in your garage. Now, ground clearance, it does rise up pretty good so it shouldn't be an issue on this one especially with the staggered tray design but we'll measure from the ground up once I can get an angle on it it's gonna be about 33 inches from the ground it's gonna be about 31 and a half inches from the ground to the bottom so that should be plenty when you're going up those steep hills or driveways now you can take up some of that space by folding it up towards the vehicle so I come over here to the handle pull on that lift it up now it's going to take up considerably less from the bumper to the end of the bike rack it's made 14 and a half inches we have the anti-rattle bolt with the lock that's key to like to the lock on your cable lock now you can see and shake the whole vehicle back and forth and there's no movement or rattling here in the hitch which means it's not going to transfer to your bikes Overall, I think it's going to be a good addition to your Durango. The high noon, I like that it's an evolution of the monorail. And if you don't need three bikes all the time, you can remove this and just make it a two bike bike rack. That's more manageable on the road all the time. And then you can just throw it on there when you need to carry that third bike. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.